today we're going to be talking about how to get started with Logic Pro X. Getting started in Logic, the first thing we're going to do is set up a session. Now when you open up Logic for the first time, it's going to show you this dialog box, which is in essence Logic's dashboard. And what that means is it's going to let us choose what kind of session we want to create. On your first window here, under New Project, it's going to let you choose from a series of templates or an empty project. On the left, you can also choose recent sessions that you might have had open before, or you can create your own templates that you can save and then reopen up. We're going to go ahead and stay on New Project, select Empty Project, and then hit Choose. Now when we do that, it now creates us a new session, and it opens up uh, in Logic's main window, starting off with a track dialog box. And what Logic's doing is it's saying that it is requiring you to create a new track before you get started on anything else. We have several different options here. The main ones you'll probably use are going to be software instrument and audio. Software instrument tracks being driven by a software instrument plugin, and audio being driven by some kind of pre recorded audio. We're going to go ahead and create a software instrument track with an empty channel strip and an output of one and two. Hit create. This now creates us a single track in Logic. And now we're in Logic's main window. And this is probably a familiar view if you've worked in any other DAW before. Uh, basically, uh, horizontally, we have uh, all our audio laid out in time. So this is a timeline here, and as we go forward horizontally, it's going to show us, basically, uh, the audio over time. And then vertically, we're going to have a layout of our tracks stacked up like this. Now, what's really cool about Logic is it has an extra feature called the Inspector. This is something that you won't see in a lot of DAWs, and it makes things very convenient. If we go up here, and mine's already open, but this little eye here, if it's selected, it will open up what we call the inspector. Basically what the inspector does is it gives us a view into the mix window of Logic without actually going there. So we can make quick mixing adjustments on the fly while staying inside of Logic's main window. Basically, the inspector shows you the channel strip of whatever track you have selected. So right now we have instrument one selected, and it's showing us the channel strip of instrument one. And then immediately to the right, it's going to be showing whatever bus this track is sent to. So you'll he see here that instrument one is being sent to the stereo output. And then right here we have the channel strip for the stereo output. Now what's great in the inspector is we can edit pretty much anything we would typically edit in a mix window. Uh, for this software instrument track, we can choose its input, which can be a series of any of the built-in plugins or third-party plugins that I have, as well as adding inserts, or as we call them in Logic, it would be audio effects, or auxes, or in Logic they're called sends, as well as control the I.O., panning, the fader, and the mute and solo. Now up at the top bar, you can start kind of diving in and learning, but what you're going to see is many of the same basics you'll see in other dolls. The main thing you'll look at here is the transport, and then when you want to start bringing in audio files, you can come over here to the browsers. I you been talking here with me, John, at SAE Institute, and we just covered how to get started with Logic Pro X.